Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Halls. I'm here with Ryan again, and we are doing a quick little tutorial on what? Well, if we go back in time to our reviewing of your uh, shirts that you made yeah. on your own, good job. Uh, <laughs> I respect the effort, but things like this, we're just gonna like kind of touch up on. And then we'd also, I don't know if I closed the tab, but there was a specific shirt that we looked at where it was like they took a shirt that was selling all day long. Yeah, we closed it, my bad. Um, it was selling all day long for Biden Harris and they put like inauguration in cursive text and it looked really oh, yeah. good and I made the the I made the comment that like that that font when they used it initially was probably very thin oh, yes. and they strategically used like a Photoshop approach to make it look better. So I'm gonna walk through how to do that if I can find the design. Okay, not there. Anyways, so I'm using Photoshop. You can also go to photopia.com, which is a free online version of Photoshop. So they basically, this approach works in both. But Photoshop is my preferred um, software. Yes. So first and foremost, I went to um, new and I set the canvas to 4,500 by 5,400 for Amazon Merch. And I will also create a black layer because again, if you select black as a color, it's gonna be defaulted to the black thumbnail, right? Yeah, but I wanna see you make it not defaulted while selecting multiple colors because that no, is, that's something different. No, no, you can't. Never if you make me. black available, it's going to be black. No, but it, even if you uncheck black and you only check So we'll color. use this as inspiration, right? This okay. shirt right here. We already selected the uh, colors from it. We got them one, two right here. Yep. You guys can see how to do that in one of the previous videos. Yep. Uh, so is your thing still having that issue with the font sizing? Only when you use the merch template you made me for the most part. Oh, interesting. So maybe just don't use it. All right, so what was it? One, two, oh, two, oh, two, one, and then 900. It's a pretty good font, actually. I know. I downloaded that one from Duff Walk Duffons. with me now. I like that. I we can just use this font then. I know. That's why I downloaded it. All right, cool. Because, you know, I couldn't stand other people having better fonts than me. <laughs> <laughs> So Delphon is really great for downloading fonts. Make sure to look at the commercial use. Um, yeah, the little like money tag thing. The money tag thing? I don't know. One of the sites that you're normally ranks high like has like a green money thing if it's like okay to use. Like a money uh, symbol and if it's green, it's like you can use it. I've kind of just been click download. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways, 1.20.21. And then also let's cross niche it with something else. So... Why are you getting so mad over there? Our dog is he getting mad at us. Yeah. So why don't we go with... Um, let's, let's find something. I see let the healing begin. Let the healing begin. <laughs> All right. Let's see. How are these BSRs looking? 400K, 9 mil. 400, three, oh, those are orcas. All right. So there's not a lot of people believing in the healing beginning. Um Democracy, we looked at democracy restored. I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, he won. Get over it. We know that one sells. Why don't you just do the one twenty twenty and then do the cursive inauguration? Oh, do you have a cursive font on here? I'm sure I do, but I don't know what any of my fonts are called except the ones that I downloaded. Wait, you didn't memorize the name of all the fonts? What's wrong with you? Sorry, guys, just dropping the ball. All right, Vampiro one. That's weird. Vampiro. Uh, yellow tail. You can use all right, good. It. Boom. Okay. But cursive tends to not want to be all caps. Yeah. Boom. That might even be the font, actually. By the way, you can do, like, letter spacing and stuff. I always like to play around with it. Like, you have negative 30. Let's just... For cursive, it comes as it needs to be. So I'm restoring the negative 30 yeah, for whatever horizontal we... between... <laughs> Our dog is <laughs> so mad. Pablo, give me a second, buddy. And then we'll play. He wants to play so bad. All right, so... And you know what we might actually end up doing is adding back that letter spacing because... If you're going to overlay it on top of the 121, you can know mad at me. All right, so, yeah, like, if we were going to do, the whole point is I wanted to show, like, I would go to right-click that text layer. So I right-click the inauguration, and I went to blending options. And then normally I would do color overlay if I needed to for some reason. Like, I don't know what I was thinking when I said that, actually. But the main one that you care about is stroke. And then I would set the color to the same color as the overlay. And then notice how like I can make the stroke thicker. You can put it position inside, outside, center. So we'll keep it outside. And um, if I want to make this bigger and bolder, like let's just say I do like five pixels, all right? 
then I might want to then increase letter spacing by like 10. Oh, whoops, I need to actually select the text. Or did that apply? It, it applied. Okay, 25 then. Because when you make the stroke on the outside, it's going to be five on the left and five on the right, so that'd be 10. So yeah. that I just did 25. I thought that looked all right. Now, granted, in this case, we expected the font to be a little bit not Thinner. as bold. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't actually really need the stroke here. Like, maybe we just do a light stroke. I'll do 10 pixels. And, uh... Pablo. Sorry, buddy. I'll take the stroke down to, like, two. But that's what I really wanted to show is, like, if this font that we found that actually looks really good, so I don't want to switch it, was thinner, then we could do this, you know, right-click, blending options, stroke, stroke outside, change your pixel numbers. And um, then if you wanted to, like, here's the thing. You don't need to color the text. You already see everybody else doing it. So, like, if this was me, what I might do is actually just export it white and then sell it on a red shirt and a blue shirt, you yeah. know? Like, that's what I might do personally because you've already got the people doing, you know, a lot of the red and blue over the black. But at the same time, black shirts do sell really well. But it's like, at least you can try to be the only one available. The only reason why I was not trying to do it was due to the fact that I had issues in the past with black mm. returning to the default, even though I unselected black as the color. And the only way I got it to work was solely by selecting specifically one single color which kind of kills the market for any other color yeah yeah but there's like a ted talk where it's seriously people don't want more choice they want less choice even if they think they want more choice they actually want less and guys if you haven't watched my puppy playtime videos this is a good example of what it consists of mm -hmm. so make sure to watch them they're short yes <laughs> all right i think that's basically all we wanted to show unless there's another question like so maybe, you applied a stroke to let this, me just show how that. i would color the text real quick before we wrap up yeah i did but it's okay. like that font didn't really need it yeah so in an instance where the font is too thin you can always add a same color stroke to the outside to make it look thicker mm -hmm. um especially if they don't have like the drop down menu up there where it says sharp or bold yeah they should have that though not on everything but this one they do strong smooth yeah that's like the anti-aliasing I don't know what that means. <laughs> it like makes like the pixels look smoother basically instead of like pixelated jagged edges. That's what that thing does? Yeah. Oh, well. It's something we take for granted. But so anyways, if you want to color the text, just literally like highlight it. And then this is assuming you don't have a color overlay. If you have a color overlay, it won't work. But then you just select the color picker. And we already have our swatches over here in the top no, left. What is a color overlay used for again? Did that work? No. I don't use swatches. I'm going to be honest. So work. All right. That worked. Color overlay just makes the whole layer one color. Wait, red, white, and blue. Maybe we should flip that. <laughs> I agree. All right, that's white. And then... Boom, look at that. And then this also looks good against black. Perfect, you did my designs for today. Thank you. Yeah, so, and again, like... If you're in a rush and you need to get five designs done because your upload slots aren't full or 20, then literally just do this, right? Like, look, you, you can change this word to other words. You could say democracy restored. You could say... Well, we're not doing that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Per our last video. Yeah, per our last video. But you get what I'm saying. So it's like if you're in a hurry, one good template and then swap out the sub-niches. And again, we talked about using AMZ Suggestion Expander, just circling back to, before we close this out, like inauguration 20 uh, i can't spell I'll neither, neither of us can for amz suggester in this video as well guys or inauguration you don't actually have to use amz suggestion expander you can just type inauguration shirt and then look at what's selling well that's what i did but some of my designs got rejected that's the shirt well, we you couldn't were figure out about. why yeah this was the shirt that inspired it the cursive inauguration because most yep. of the Cursive fonts tend to be much thinner than the one that we got lucky choosing. You could say like Biden Harris. I'm just doing this like you get what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, wrap the video. Boom. Cool. Thank you, Ryan. Um, wait, restore it because I'm gonna use that last one. Then Control Z. Control Z, guys. The little shortcut takes you backwards a step in your Photoshop or on your computer in general. Mm -hmm. I'm sure most of you guys already knew that, but if not. That's great. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. Make sure to click the like button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment below if there are any things that you would like us to see 
like us to do a video on. Um, and as I said before, we will be following up this video next week with a video talking about how to keep your files clean for future use so you can come back to them. That's a good thing, yeah, because staying organized plus if and you're in low tiers, you delete designs. This is something that people were asking about the other day. But then you want to re-upload them later. Yeah, so it is important. Why not? Yeah. So, alrighty guys, thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.